Hi there, I'm Itamar and in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to print out the uh, Hello World message with ESP32 using LCD uh, I squared C. Uh, so uh, we're going to be print out uh, the uh, Hello World uh, message through cloud so we're, we're gonna be using the uh, blink IoT app okay so that uh, we can print out uh, this message when we press a button on our phone um, so now uh, I'm going to show you how to interface the uh, LCD I2 uh, C uh, with ESP32. Okay, folks, the uh, I squared C uh, module has four pins. The uh, SCL pin is attached. To pin 22 and the pin SDA to pin 21. 21 is over here. 21. Now the VCC pin of the uh, our module uh, is attached to pin to uh, the e pin of the ESP32 and the, the, the ground is our ye yellow cable goes to ground we are interfacing the uh, LCD display with ESP Okay, folks, now we need to go to Google and create a Blink project. Uh, and uh, this project will allow us to, um, um, to print out the uh, message hello world when we uh, press a button on our phone. Let's create a new template and uh, the name of uh, this template is going to be Hello World. Hardware is ESP32 and uh, the connection uh, type is Wi-Fi so the description is optional. So we click on done. So uh, we've just created the uh, the template hello world. Now we, we, we need to click on data strings, new uh, data strings, and uh, we choose uh, virtual pin. So the virtual pin, let me see, uh, it's going to be, hello, I don't know, maybe word, we can name it word, okay? And uh, the, uh, the virtual pin is V0, the data type um, is integer, okay? Um, so we click on create. Okay, now we go to uh, web dashboard. We uh, drag the switch onto uh, this place. Then we click on settings. Uh, the name of uh, the title of uh, the switch is going to be Word. And uh, we choose the directions that uh, we, we just 
Uh, okay. So uh, it's okay. We save it. Uh, we save it again here. Uh, we we click on save it, and now we go to take to search device. So we're gonna add. Uh, that that the device that template that uh, we've just created. If you don't know how to create a Blink account, please uh, go and check out uh, my other uh, videos because um, I had already um, made. Uh, videos on how to create a link account now we, uh, we click on from template uh, choose template hello world and uh, then we click on create we need uh, um, the blink template ID the blink template name and uh, the link of of tokens so, okay so um, we are gonna be pulling um, uh, these uh, codes uh, on our program uh, so guys now uh, we need uh, these codes uh, we are gonna cut uh, these codes um, guys we need the blink template ID the blink template name and the blink of authentication token in our program okay, um, we are gonna cut that later so now we, we, we need to go to our uh, mobile phone, okay, and um, we, we need to set up uh, the project Hello World there, okay. That's the screen of my phone. So we click on Blink app so that uh, I can configure the project hello world so we can see here the project hello world now we click on that so we can add the button the switch so click on this project and then you you click here click on plus so you can add uh, the button uh, click on the button and uh, you can drag it onto the middle of the screen the, okay the middle so you, you, you can adjust uh, the uh, height mo uh, modify the height and the width okay now you you click on the button you so you can configure it uh you click on plus on data stream you click on plus now you choose the uh the virtual pin v0 okay you add the virtual pin um okay so it's done so the mode the button will uh, work as a um, uh, with push mode so I can give a, a title to to my uh, uh, switch so the labels uh, when it's off it's off when it's uh, on it's on and uh, I can uh, increase the size of the uh, of, of the title um, of the uh, uh, this button. We can um, pick uh, choose a color, any color, 
and uh, but I but I choose the uh, red color so now it's done we go back okay so we've just configured the project on uh, mobile phone using the uh, blink um, app we've just configured our project on our mobile phone using blink iot app now uh, i need to show you the sketch for this project but before that we need to connect our esp32 uh, with uh, our laptop like so now time to show you the sketch for today's tutorial this is the sketch guys uh, you, you need to paste here the blink authentication uh, to token and uh, we also need to install the uh, wi-fi library the liquid crystal um, I, I squared C library and of course uh, we need to install the blink library and uh, so um, the, um, the LCD that uh, um, I'm using has 16 uh, columns and, and the two rows so in this line we are creating the object lcd the uh, its address is uh, 0 x 27 in the columns 16 and the rows two rows so that's the uh, blink authentication code this is the uh, the name of my wi-fi the password of my wi-fi and that's the uh the timer timer object i think so inside of void setup we need to to initialize the um, lcd display and uh, we need to turn on uh, its backlight so now here we are starting the communication between blink uh, web and our wi-fi um, i think um, and our esp32 inside of void loop we um, rerun forever the blink run function and the timer run function so inside of blink write function um, we can see here the parameter v0 it's our virtual pin v0 uh, with here the data variable uh, which gets the value um, coming from my virtual pin v0 through uh, this function now if it, when i press uh, if I, when I press the button on my phone on my phone the data uh, variable gets the value uh, 1 so if the data e equals 1 I'm going to set the cursor to this position 0, uh, 0, 0 on my LCD display and uh, we, we're gonna print out the uh, hello world message now if the data e equals zero uh, here else uh, I'm going to wait one sec and uh, then I need to um, to, to clear uh, this message okay guys uh, this is our sketch so now go to tools board 
ESP and uh, choose your board for, for me e, uh, is ESP 32 dev module the port is um, confirm okay now we, we are ready to upload that code we press the button button okay it's done if i click on blink so we can find our project if i press on this button we can see the message hello world if i release the button after one sec uh, the message hello world disappears if i press again the button we're gonna see the message if i release it uh, the message it, um, is gone thank you so much and i see you in the next video bye bye